And as you can see, the one with test.wait is going up faster. I feel like if I were to take all of my comments, like literally every single comment I've gotten, I would say that 20% of those comments were about people crying that I was using wait instead of task.wait. Task.wait does have its usage, right? I think that like people who cry about using task.wait everywhere are stupid, but I think there are cases where you should be using task.wait. So let me show you. I'm gonna open up a script, okay? And you know, we have the obvious wait, okay? You do wait and then you just give it some seconds, okay? like five. So what this will do, this will halt the script until five seconds have passed. Okay. Very simple. So I could do a while loop. So while wait five, or I guess one do. So every, every one second we could print hello. Okay. Like so. I cannot type today, bro. There, damn, there, there we go. Okay. So yeah, every one second prints hello. And so if I run the game, then every one second, it's going to say hello, 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 and so on, and so on. Now I could say task.wait, okay? And I could run that again. Hello, 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 hello. What is the big difference, okay? The difference here is that task.wait is more precise, okay? So when dealing with numbers, okay, when dealing with like actual weights, right? The issue here is that you can never truly be precise with numbers when it comes to scripting, okay? So like, yeah, like I can tell, you know, the machine to like, hey, wait for five seconds, right? And so then, you know, this code gets compiled, gets translated into like the binary mach machine code or, or whatever. But the issue is that it's not gonna wait five seconds exactly, or like one second exactly in this case, right? There will be a couple seconds extra or a couple seconds shaved off, okay? What task.wait attempts to do is it attempts to completely like min minimize um, the, those extra seconds, right? So you using the regular weight, like so, will actually allow for like, like a higher like percentage of numbers to be added on or removed from your desired outcome, right? So maybe instead of waiting one second, it's gonna wait 1.03 seconds, okay? Um, but then task.wait is gonna, is gonna wait 1.03 zero 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 three seconds right so test test dot wait while still having issues um is a lot more precise than wait okay so what does this mean and i'm actually going to show this in action in a bit all this means is that when dealing with just you know like basic numbers like for example something like five or like four when, when you're waiting with like you know like big numbers just use wait okay but if you need to wait um with like more smaller numbers and you want them to be more precise, then use task.wait, okay? So I will show you kind of what I mean by this, okay? If right now, let's say we take two parts, okay? Like so, part one, part two. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just put them up here, like so. And what I'm gonna do is I'll call this one task and I'll call this one no task. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two loops. Actually, what I'll do is I'll probably give each of them a script like so, and then I'll copy it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, like, I'm going to use a, like a while loop for both of them. So for this one, I'll use the task dot wait loop for this one. I'll just use the regular weights. Okay. And what I'll do in that loop is I'll make their like, you know, their like, size increase by a little bit. Okay. Or maybe their, their position. Um, yeah, so so what all I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add on a little bit so that they move up. Okay, that's that's what I want to happen. So I'll actually move them over here, like so. Yeah, so we have task, we have no task. So for ta for no task, okay, what I'll do is I'll say while wait, just a basic wait, do. I guess we could say like while wait like 0 0.1 seconds. I guess if if we wanted to, right? Um, if we do no numbers, it's just gonna wait the smallest possible amount of time, which in the case of Roblox is something called a tick. Okay. So a tick is how fast the server updates, right? Um, I'll just do 0 0.1 just so it doesn't like shoot up really fast. Um, and I'll just say script.parent.position um, plus equals vector three dot new zero, 0 0.010 zero. So what this is going to do is it's every, every single time it loops, it's going to increase the, um, the Y axis of the parts position 
by 0.01, which is going to move it ever so slightly up. Okay. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll copy this. I'll paste this and I'll just say task.weight. Okay. And to actually, I guess, make them make it more clear which is which, task will be green. Okay. And no task will be red. Okay. So task is green. No task is red. Yeah, so task.weight and then regular weight. So let's actually check this out. And before I forget, let me actually, um, let me anchor them, okay? Just so they don't start falling immediately. So if I run the game. Yeah, it's very slow. But they are ever so slightly going up, okay? And this might be too slow, actually. So what I think I'll do is I'll remove the 0 0.1 and I'll just... <laughs> I'll just I'll just make it quicker, okay? So let's see. And as you can see, the one with task.weight is going up faster, okay? And again, the reason for this being is like I said before, because task.weight is made specifically to account for, you know, like higher precision, it mean that means that it has a higher array of numbers to work with, right? Which meaning that task.weight um, is a lot better at actually being more accurate with a tick, okay? Because like, like I said, because like I said, the issue with using a weight is that it's not as precise as a task.weight, meaning that when it, it tries to actually move um, using the server's tick rate, like all of those extra seconds, all of those extra errors will add up, right? But then the, the beauty of task.weight is that because it's going to have a lot less of those errors, it's going to be as like close to uh, the speed of a tick as it can, which is what we see here, right? It's the same code, except one is using task.weight and one isn't because task.weight is a lot more precise. And I, I know I keep repeating myself, right? Uh, which like, so if you understand it, that's great. But if you still don't understand it, it's just that task.weight has a lot more um, like decimal play, decimal points to work with, right? So it can be a lot more precise, which also means that because it can be a lot more precise, it can be as close to, you know, the server's tick rate as possible, which allows for this faster movement, okay? And we can do this with like size as well. So I could say like size, right? Like so. And then maybe instead of 0 0.01, I'll say 0 0.05, just because it was a little... Um, you know, it, it was it was a bit slow, but yeah, I think actually this is such a awesome representation. Look at that. This this is going on the thumbnail, boys. Hopefully, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, again, the test weight is just shooting up. And it what's funny that I guarantee that, yeah, as you can see, the this is inconsistent. Like it, it sometimes just stops. Right. It's 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 such a weird thing. I do wonder if I try and make it a lot more like, like if I make it 10 times faster. So this is right now, this is just my experimental stage, okay? But yeah, so now if they're gonna be going up like this, because I do wonder, it, it seems like using weight, it's like half of the task dot weight, right? But maybe, maybe if we make it faster, like let, let's do two, okay? Let's do two. Make it four times faster, okay? Let's check this out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's going up, going up. And yeah, so it does seem like the... Yeah, just notice how all of that builds up, right? And it's just flying up and up and up. That's that's insane. Look, look, at, look at it go. Okay, I'm pretty sure it hit the maximum uh, size and stopped, but... Yeah, that's that's the idea behind weight and um, test out weight. Now, what I just showed you, okay, what I just showed you is, you know, like ob obviously there was a huge difference, but like usually, usually, you're not going to be using weights like this. Usually, you're going to be using weights to wait like four seconds or wait five seconds, right? Like, like I guess technically, yeah, it's better to test out weight everywhere, just because, like I said, it's a lot more accurate, right? And it's a lot more um, just, just that it's more accurate. Um, just, I, I think it's even better for performance. Although, you know, someone in the comments, let me know. Cause I heard that somewhere. 
Uh, but again, if you're just like, it's not a bi the biggest deal if you don't use task.weight, okay? Like me personally, I use task.weight when I need precision. When I don't, when I can afford to have an extra like 0 0.03 seconds or whatever, I just use weight because I don't really care, right? So so that's kind of the idea here. Um, and I mean, yeah, you know, you, you, you saw how the parts just skyrocketed, okay? And the sa in the same way that the parts have skyrocketed, okay? You should literally interact with this with this video as much as you can, okay? Like, I don't know, like, notice, uh, share, edge, whatever. I don't know, whatever you, whatever you kids do these days, you know what I mean? But all right, you know, now that I've, you know, talked um, positive about past weight, I hope you can accept me as into the, like, official private club of Roblox developers, okay? So, I don't know, I'm going to be invited to Gnome Code Island, okay? Which is... Not a reference to any island at all in real life, and I don't even know what I'm saying. It's 11.23 p.m., so good night, everyone. We are back to basics. Thank you for watching.